Hello everyone and welcome to Video by Design. I'm Devin Jones, the Associate Editor of Design Engineering Magazine. Throughout this series I'll be sitting down with a variety of industry professionals to talk some news and maybe check out some products they brought with them. Today we're happy to have with us lead engineer Mark McCann from Milestat Motion Control. Working largely with automation components like integrated servo and stepper motors, Milestat has long been doing some interesting work with the Cool Muscle line of products. I'm sure we'll touch on those in just a bit. Mark, thanks so much for coming in today and chatting with us. It's a pleasure. All right, Mark, so we're meeting for the first time. What's the back of the box bullet point list of the features of the EtherCAT integrated servo motor? Okay, so every standard EtherCAT motor is going to have an in and an out port. This allows you to get your daisy chaining going along and link those 200 axes together that you want. Right. On our particular motor, we also have an I.O. port. We have some, an analog input, we've got some digital inputs, digital outputs that are all accessed through the EtherCAT. Uh, as well as can be set to statuses within the motor. Mm -hmm. We have our power coming in. Our power has separated control and drive power. Okay. So if you're in safety situations where you need to be able to, where you have to drop that drive power, you can, but you can still maintain control, which means you maintain position. Right. Uh, we also have the explicit ID. We've got uh, dip switches, rotary dials here that can be set, so you can set up your explicit ID. This is important in EtherCAD, in particular in certain applications where if maintenance, for example, was to switch cables between two different motors, mm -hmm. then the master system would actually know that that cable has been switched and basically be able to say, okay, you know what, we can't run this particular system in this way because mm -hmm. the IDs don't match. Mm. And from the get-go, as I was saying, the focus on the design of the cool muscle has been how to maintain and achieve the best control that we can get out of it. That's things like reducing speed ripple, uh, maintaining your torque throughout your acceleration curve, uh, achieving your high speed you possibly can with the power that you have available. Mm -hmm. The design engineers for the Cool Muscle Motor have really put a lot of effort into creating the best algorithms they can to achieve that type of motion. So we use an H-Infinity controller, which is distinctly different to a PID controller. H-Infinity by design is always trying to achieve stability. Okay. And what this does is it really assists the user, developer, designer in achieving stable control of their system, regardless of the inertia, the load, the accelerations that they need. So this gives the developer and designer confidence in their system, uh, that it's simplified it, that it's going to be robust, and that it's going to last the life of their product. If I'm a customer coming to you saying, I want more out of my product, um, you know, what are the advantages of, of using this versus the standard server motor that I might be using? Firstly, there are definitely advantages to an integrated motor. You've got your driver, controller, encoder, all packaged into one. Mm -hmm. This simplifies wiring. Uh, it simplifies deployment in that uh, there's less to worry about. You don't have to worry about matching your encoder or matching your driver to your controller or anything like that. It mm -hmm. will just all packaged neatly for you. It comes from the factory all set up, ready to go. The next step is the integrating of the EtherCAT. EtherCAT is a very robust high-speed protocol where it gives you a lot of flexibility in dynamic motion. You can update up to 100 axes in uh, 10 kilohertz. That would be 100 microseconds each, just to sort of being able to change your motion, change your moving, dependent on different things that are going on within your machine. Uh, with EtherCAT, you're running your power, you're running your Ethernet cables, and on the integrated design in particular too, we also have, for example, our I.O. right there. So if you've got an I.O. point that you need to be accessing that is close to that, that particular axis, that would be wired directly into the motor and still access over the EtherCAT cable over the EtherCAT protocol. So Mark, you brought with you this three-axis pick-and-place robot, and it's certainly interesting running the EtherCAT integrated motor. What are some other interesting applications that this, this servo motor could uh, work well with? So the versatility behind EtherCAT is really what opens it up to many different applications. There's the high-speed nature of it, so for high-speed pick-and-place, uh, that would be one example, you know, a little bit of what we're showing on, on, on the robot that I brought over. Um, there would also be animation. Uh, with the dynamic motion that I mentioned earlier where you can have, you know, you're not just doing linear point-to-point -point moves. Uh, you can create really natural motion. Uh, so for animated figures, things like that, it would be, it can be very, very useful, especially, mm. you know, you've got multiple axes. And that also then comes down to that wiring also that we talked about, right? You can imagine it's little joints. You can just be running, you know, simple cables through to, to these different joints that, uh, that can get animated. Uh, large systems in particular. Uh, large systems where you have, you know, a couple hundred axes. 
Well, fantastic. Thank you, Mark, so much for coming in. I appreciate you taking the time. And thank pleasure. you to everyone for tuning in. You can find this video at our YouTube channel, Design Engineering Magazine, as well as on all our social media channels at Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. We'll also have some additional white papers and literature about everything shown today in the link below, so please feel free to check those out as well.